Ember Moon has returned to NXT. Oh my god, guys. I didn't even actually get the watch takeover, but I just looked at it on YouTube, the little snippet of her return. My goodness, Ember Moon and Tony Storm, from what I heard, made a shocking return to NXT. Ember, Ember Moon, though, is extremely shocking considering the fact that she suffered an injury last year with her shoulder, which nearly could have ended her career. We have not seen Ember Moon for over a year and after not really being utilized in proper storylines since she had came to Raw and SmackDown, it's great to see her back in NXT in a shocking fashion. I mean, my goodness, we saw the vignettes week after week after week and we wondered who it was that was going to be this mystery opponent at, at NXT. The mystery person that was going to make their return, the former NXT champion that they were referring to. Many of us thought there was Bo Dallas. Many of us thought it was going to be Robert Rube. But as you saw on Monday, Robert Rube returned to Raw, so it wasn't him. The only other option everyone thought it would be was Bo Dallas. But I don't think anyone thought there was going to be Ember Moon for the simple fact that she stated herself, you know, that her injury was extremely severe and that it could have potentially put it into her career it's great to see her back i hope she can hold on for way longer than she did i'm glad to see she's back and she's apparently going to be chasing leo shirai over the nxt championship along with tony storm the last time we've seen tony storm in an nxt championship match was when she faced rhea ripley earlier this year i believe it was at nxt takeover collide when they faced off it might have been after that. I think it was NXT Table of Kali because I know Tony Storm, funny enough, was the person who defeated Rhea Ripley to win the NXT UK title. So to see her go after Io Shirai for the NXT Championship is very interesting. And also to see Ember Moon, who was a former NXT Women's Champion in her own right, go after Io Shirai for the NXT Women's Championship is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, this three-way that we're going to see or could be seen is amazing. Two contenders who we have not seen in the title hunt for quite some time. Like I said, Ember Moon, who sadly nearly had her time cut short. Last time I even seen Ember Moon on uh, between Raw and SmackDown was when she was chasing out the 24-7 title. So it's just nice to see her be refreshed and have a really amazing entrance and an amazing way to come and take over in the way that she did i don't think anybody saw this coming i think this was very unexpected i don't think a lot of people really thought that ember moon was going to be the one now some people did kind of guess it was ember moon but i don't think a lot of people thought it was going to be her because of the injury but it's great to see her back and like i said i just hope she could stay healthy and she could stay on you know as long as possible because these are the, you know the women's division uh, has just got even more special. I mean, you got so many people on the roster at this point, and to see Tony Storm come back, who probably was already going to come back, but due to travel restrictions, that couldn't really happen. And now you see uh, Ember Moon, who makes her return. Who, you know, the last time she actually was next to Women's Champion was at the beginning of 2018, before she lost the belt to Shayna Baszler at TakeOver New Orleans that year. She was actually the NXT Women's Champion. That was the last time she was the champion. She actually won that title, I believe, at uh, the TakeOver that was uh, the following year, the year before that, back in 2017, the end of the year. In a fatal four-way, she won the belt. So it's great to see her back in ring. You know, I, I, like I said, it's just amazing to see her back and I mean you gotta hope to wonder how this is gonna go. I mean Io Shirai at this point has held the belt since June. She's been a champion since um takeover in your house when she won the triple threat match with Charlotte Flair and uh Rhea Ripley. And Rhea Ripley, you know, recently had asked she wanted to take on the winner of the match. At during the pre show she said she she told Triple H she wanted to take on the winner of the match between Candice LeRae and Io Shirai. Io Shirai is on top, but you got to hope to wonder at this point, you got three different women on, on the hunt for Io Shirai's title, how this is going to play out. I mean, my goodness. I, I honestly, 
would love to see, you know, EO against Ember Moon or Tony Storm for that matter. I think at this point, Rhea Ripley, you know, I don't have a problem with her, but I just think she's kind of, she's kind of gotten her opportunities. Um, but, you know, th in, in this case, we're seeing, now we never got to see her go one-on-one -on -one with Yo Shirai, so I'll give her that. But she's kind of got opportunities. But in this case, we're, we're really seeing uh, two women who, you know, have not been in the title scene for quite a while. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm really hyped for this. You know, I um, Ember Moon is one of my favorites. So, you know, all of them really, everybody in this division right now is in this. But, you know, I'm, it's just great to see her back at a time where you didn't even think that she would come back. And she's back. And uh, she came back in a really amazing fashion. Kind of had, like, this helmet on her head. Had on, like, this kind of like had them coming through like like a bike or something so a motorcycle whatever you want to call it so it, it was it was it was nice you know it was nice to see her come back to her home come back to the place she started set her sights on Io Shirai I, I don't think even Io Shirai saw it coming either I don't think she even saw it coming and considering the amazing matches that Ember Moon had with Asuka during that time that Asuka was his NXT Women Champion which at many times people thought that Ember Moon should have been the person to actually defeat Asuka in NXT at the time for the title um you know it's I really think her and Io Shirai will tear, tear the house down if you give them if you give them the time you put the match right I think they'll tear it down you know, I think that was kind of the problems that she kind of had before with some of her matches. But you know, I think if you if this match is put right, that this could be this could be a a this could like steal the show. You know, this could steal the show. And you know, again, I didn't actually get to see Takeover tonight, but I did just glance over to see her return. And you know, like I said, I heard about Tony Storm. So like I said, it's great to see those two back. And, uh, you know, I'm just really looking forward to seeing uh, what happens uh, with with uh, what they're going to do here. Because this is uh, absolutely amazing. The women's division is it's complete fire at this point. I'm really looking forward to this, man. All right. That is all. So, very much flex on it all.